Hey guys, welcome back to Royal Scenario TV. Today I'm here with Adamo and we're going to be talking about the goalkeeper situation at AC Milan. Well, first of all, let's talk about, once again, as we mentioned last week, Diego Lopez coming into the team, being the new addition for the goalkeepers, but this creates a big drama now for the remaining goalkeepers. Of course, Abiati will definitely be the second goalkeeper, but who will be the third? And that's the discussion that we want to talk about today. Will it be Gabriel or Michael Agazzi? Adamo, these two goalkeepers are both very young. Michael Agazzi probably a bit more experienced than Gabriel as far as the Serie A comes. But his displays really in the preseason have been awful, horrendous. And really, it's been suggesting for him to move on and leave Milan. However, he doesn't want to leave. What do you make about the whole situation? Well, uh, yeah, as you say, he doesn't really want to leave. So I see that as a big issue for Milan. But, you know, they kind of dug themselves into this hole for uh, purchasing Agazzi in the first place. But, uh, yeah, but Agazzi, I don't know if he's so bad that I don't even think he could be a third-string goalkeeper for Milan. But at least uh, Gabriel has some use in him. But uh, I don't know, it's a really uh, sticky situation, if you want to call it something like that. Yeah, and uh, reports have been really suggesting that Gabriel will go on loan to a Brazilian club. But really, it seems very difficult, because usually when uh, a player has to deal with a Brazilian club, when it has to sign for a Brazilian club, or anyone in general, it usually takes some weeks. And I don't know about you guys, but Milan, obviously, when they talk about a certain player and when they have to deal with a certain club, it just takes on a lots of weeks. Now, uh, we are shortly more than two weeks away from the end of the transfer window. And the real question is, will Milan even find a club for any of these keepers to get rid of? Now, uh, as far as Agazzi goes, Sassuolo were actually showing interest in him uh, if they would fail to sign Storari from Juventus. Now, uh, Agazzi to Sassuolo could actually be a great option, not only for the club, but maybe for himself as well, as he would find lots of playing time, that's for sure. Now, uh, Adamo, what do you make out of this? Agazzi to Sassuolo, could it be a possibility for him? Could it be a possibility for Sassuolo and for Milan to finally get rid of him? Well, uh, I think it would be a good option, like you said, both for Agazzi and Sassuolo and for Milan. Because uh, Sassuolo, as we saw last season, aren't the best team in the world, clearly. Uh, they have players like Berardi and Zaza that hold them up pretty well. But uh, in the goalkeeping position, there's nobody that really stands out. So, like you said, I think Agassi will get plenty of time, which should make him happy. But for some reason, he doesn't want to go and he'd rather sit on the bench at Milan. But, uh, yeah, like I said, it would be very beneficial for Milan to offload off Agassi and as well for Sassuolo. Yeah, definitely. And... Uh... I guess it can make some reasoning for him not leaving Milan. I mean, he's got his chance of his lifetime, really, to join them and maybe perform to uh, high standards and get noticed by another top club. But obviously, it's very <laughs> unlikely after what we've seen from his, um, really, his uh, performances in the preseason. And uh, you know what? People say you can't really blame him. The defense was absolutely horrendous as well during the preseason. But at the same time, if you guys watch the games, really, there are some key, really, some key saves that a goalkeeper should make, especially of a professional level. And if he can't make them in preseason, chances are he won't make them in the season itself. So um, I know he probably won't even get some playing time in the season, but uh, rather have someone that could bring up uh, some confidence in this team. And Gabriel, you know, young, we saw him some um, times last season, really... He had some good games, he had some bad games, you can't really say anything, but uh, he knows the situation at the club more than Agassi, and I think he should stay. Now guys, leave us your comments on who you think should stay at the club and who should leave. Comment down below, we would like to hear your opinions on the subject. So that is it guys, don't forget to subscribe to Rosanary TV for match previews, match reviews, breaking news, discussions, and much more to stay on top of AC Milan. This has been Gio and Adamo here signing off, and as usual, Forza Milan. Forza Milan!